Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. I did something that I haven't seen anyone do and that is I duped the Dollar Tree. I found the cutest candy corn banner garland at the Dollar Tree and I had it in my cart and I was going to purchase it. And then I realized I had everything at home to make this garland myself. So let me show you what I did. I purchased this candy corn pom-pom garland at the Dollar Tree in the plus section for $3. I had used this for my fall candy corn tree, but I did not use the pom-poms, so I saved them back. I had some felt in my little craft stash. You can buy felt from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, anywhere from $0.25 to $0.49 cents a sheet, and I just used my ruler and make kind of a template onto one of the pieces of felt and then once I had my size and everything then I laid it on um, a stack of three more pieces and then I just made sure everything was nice and even and then I cut that out with my scissors. It was the best way that I knew to make sure that all of my candy corn banners were going to be uniform and even. So I just figured out what size I wanted, measured it out with my ruler, and then I stacked one on top of each other, and then I just cut them all out at the same time. I had measured them approximately out to about 10 inches, but you can do whatever size that you are comfortable with and whatever you have space for. I had purchased this rip ribbon this burlap ribbon at walmart on clearance for two dollars and fifty cents to three dollars and fifty cents a roll they had all of their fall colors on clearance and so i went ahead and stocked up because i knew that i was going to be using them in future projects and so i kind of judged how far i wanted to fold the top down and where my string was going to go and that took me a little while i just kind of because I wanted to make sure that my colors were going to be evenly distributed, so I kind of wanted to make sure I left enough room. Dollar Tree sells their burlap in this off-white color and then in the regular color, and so when I see that at the Dollar Tree, then I always buy two or three rolls because it really comes in handy for a lot of different things. I went ahead and laid my pieces out in a row and then I kind of used that to measure how far I wanted the white tip on the end of my candy corn banner to be. And so everything would be nice and even. And so one piece wouldn't be longer than the other. So I just kind of um, tucked my little felt piece in and made sure that all of my pieces were even. And then I just ran a strip of hot glue and tacked that down. I had it tacked down then I just clipped it apart with my scissors and then I made sure that I finished it out with the hot glue and I was careful not to burn myself and then I cut my I trimmed my pieces off with um, my scissors and I made sure that my little points were nice and even and everything was tacked down with the hot glue I did double layer that uh, so that none of the brown felt would show through and it would be a nice white or, or off-white piece of um, fabric showing through um, up on top. I have my off-white pieces done that I started at the top and I went ahead and laid in my yellow burlap ribbon and I ran a bead of hot glue and then I just secured that down. I did do this double as well so that my brown felt would not show through this either. I am crafting with what I had on hand and what I had tucked back in my little craft stash. But you could do this so many ways. You could do this with fabric. You could use a regular ribbon. You could also use a painter's canvas. I have used painter's canvas for a lot of crafts. I love to work with that. It's a very cheap, rustic, beautiful piece of medium to work with. And you could 
then paint it the candy corn colors if you wanted to and you can buy a painter's canvas a very large like 10 foot painter's canvas usually at walmart or the big box stores for somewhere around 10 to 15 dollars but i am working with what i had so i went ahead and i affixed the top loop down with some hot glue and then made sure that i had a little loop at the top so that my twine would string through easily and then i went ahead and took my orange burlap ribbon and i started working on my middle piece and i just thought it would be easier and get everything make everything a little bit more uniform if i did the top and the bottom first and then lay them the middle section out and then i could kind of measure how big i needed the middle section to be and go ahead and just cut that and it would be a little bit easier and everything would be nice and tidy and uniform once i had that into place and where i thought it needed to be and i just went ahead and cut my burlap ribbon because it was making kind of a big bungee fold and i thought it would be kind of hard to uh, glue so i just went ahead and cut that and then i just ran some hot glue on the top and the bottom and down the sides and made sure that my little orange piece my burlap piece in the middle was going to stay put when i had everything nice and tight i just took my scissors and i trimmed off the excess on the edges and my candy cord i thought it was just adorable i just i loved it so I'm big on candy corn and I think it looks so cute with fall decor and with Halloween decor and it's just it's very festive I also love to eat it candy corn and peanuts is my favorite fall snack I have my little pom-pom balls that I cut off of the candy corn pom-pom garland that I had done for my fall tree and so I just pulled the little pieces of twine through and then I put my twine in a darning needle and I just kind of wrinkled up the top part of it and just pushed my darning needle through and then I just kind of staggered my uh, yellow and my orange pom-poms that I'd gotten off this garland and that's how I put this all together once I had measured the twine out the length that I needed for it to be so I'm going to put this on the top of my hut and so I had measured that out to start with and then I just alternated my candy corn banner with the cute little pom-poms that I had left over from my uh, candy corn pom-pom garland and um, waste not want not and then um, I will link the video to my candy corn fall tree down below and that is actually what I had made for ornaments so I had these pom-poms just laying around and left over and I mean let's not waste them let's use them and this was a really good way I thought to to put them to good use once I had everything measured out and I had everything strung through and you can see kind of a little bit of the fuzz from the middle did come off when I did pull the string but it does make a nice little hole for you to slip your darning needle right through so it was just a easy peasy project it's really going to be hard for me to put a dollar amount to this because I had everything at home. The original garland at the Dollar Tree cost $3. This did not cost me a dime because I had everything laying around and I just needed to put it to good use and create something darling for my fall decor. And I love candy corn. It's so seasonal and so wonderful. Honestly, I started not to show this video because I thought it's a Dollar Tree dupe and nobody's going to be interested in that. But then I got to thinking that not every town has a Dollar Tree Plus section in their Dollar Tree. And if you are fortunate enough to have a Dollar Tree Plus section, then you may not actually have this particular item. And it is absolutely adorable. It is darling. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when I've uploaded my next video. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching Crafts Last in Chaos. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And y'all have a happy Friday and a wonderful weekend.